Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Rahu and Venus are together in the sign of Taurus, no Aries. <laughs> so many things are happening because of this conjunction. Uh, and we know that the sign of Aries is a very special sign because it's the first sign of the Kalpurush Kundli because uh, it shows creation. That's it. Any planet transiting Aries wants to create something. It's as simple as that, right? So this conjunction, I am here in uh, drikpanchang.com. Uh, oops, where is drikpanchang? Yeah. So around till 18th of June this year. So today is second. So yeah, another 15 days. This conjunction will be there. And uh, this conjunction is a very interesting one because the planet that gets debilitated in the sign of Aries, which is actually Saturn, as you know, has just, uh, is also going to get retrograde now, right? Uh, from fourth, fifth around Saturn is going to be retrograde. So now you may be thinking, oh, but what's the need to discuss about the planet that gets debilitated here, right? Well, it's interesting because you got to understand the energies of two planets, the planet the first planet which rules the sign, the second planet which gets exalted there, and third, of course, the planet which gets debilitated there, right? So if you see the sign of Aries, what happens? It's ruled by Mars. So Mars wants action, right? Who gets exalted there? Surya, sun, the king of the planets, he gets exalted there. Because the now Surya represents the kingdom, the independent desire of the soul who wants to enjoy in this material world. So now the soul gets an identity through the body to express itself, right? In this material realm. And then we have Saturn. So what is Saturn? Saturn represents things which are taken away from us, right? Or things which we like to keep away from ourselves, right? That is what Saturn uh, indicates. And therefore, um, Imagine telling somebody to keep everything which they don't like with them, right? So it's like a debilitated Saturn in that case. And uh, Aries has different nakshatras as usual, like uh, Ashwini, which is the first nakshatra. Then there's Bharani, then there's Kritika nakshatra, right? So this uh, nakshatra, nakshatra of Ashwini is a very interesting one because Ashwini nakshatra actually... Uh, is the nakshatra of initiation, right? It, it starts of something. Bharani represents the frustration that comes after starting things, right? Because the thing with Ashwini is uh, we may start off certain things with a certain expectation, with a certain roadmap or out of impulsiveness or out of intensity or, or out of desire. But it may not complete, it may not lead to completion because of Bharani. And Bharani is something which is very slow, uh, which takes time where you have to grind yourself um, and you have to be patient basically, right? And then when you have this patience, then there is Kritika Nakshatra. So Saturn gets debilitated uh, in uh, Aries uh, under Bharani Nakshatra, right? Around 20 degrees. And therefore... It is very important for us to understand that we need to cultivate patience because many times people say Aries is the sign of impulsiveness. Well, actually not. That's the trait of Ashwini, right? So if you are only impulsive, then, uh, then there's trouble. Now, Venus is also transiting um, in the sign of Aries with Rahu element. It's a very interesting combination. See, the, the trait of Rahu is he magnifies anything and everything that comes, right? Ketu creates confusion, but Rahu magnifies things. So therefore, whenever a planet conjoins Rahu, Rahu magnifies the nature of that planet. And you feel as if, if you do not get what this planet represents, your life is going to end or life is not worth living. Not that you go and commit suicide, but you feel this urgent necessity to go and just get the things that this planet represents. So in this case, we have Venus, right? 
So Venus in general can represent love, romance, sexuality, beauty, attraction for the opposite sex, marriage and union. It can represent uh, the certain organs, the sexual organs and reproductive organs in the body. And it can represent our desire to have a fine living in life, right? Fine dining. Have you heard the word fine? Fine drinks, fine dining. It's all Venus, right? Anything which adds to the external appearance, the aesthetics, the appearance and the look and feel, that's what Venus is. Now imagine this planet, which wants to make things appear nicer externally, comes in contact with the Rahu. So what happens? It's like blast. It's like a desire to have the most beautiful and charming thing of the world, right? Along with this, we also have this conjunction in the sign of Aries. So now it's very essential for us to understand that Rahu-Venus conjunction in Aries can force us to do certain things in life, which we might regret later. So therefore, it is essential that we understand that it's easy to start something, but it's very difficult to continue, right? And Bharani Nakshatra is also the Nakshatra of endings. It's very surprising because the second Nakshatra, which is in the zodiac sign of starting something, is also the Nakshatra of endings, right? So what happens when things get slow? We we want to end them, right? That's what is Bharani. So next time when somebody tells you Aries is the sign where you start and initiate and you just rush, you can ask them a question, right? Why is Bharani, which is the nakshatra of endings inside the sign of Aries? Why? Because it's easy to start, but at the end, we have to make a decision to either continue that, be in the mode of sustenance or go into tamoguna, which is, you know, destruction, right? So creation is rajogun. Maintenance is uh, sattvagun. And destruction is, of course, tamoguna. So which among the three is the easiest? Is it easy to create or maintain or destroy, right? <laughs> so we know, we know the answer, right? Tamoguna is the easiest, right? So imagine you're starting off a new project. That's like rajogun, right? And you are maintaining it. Very difficult. Imagine you destroy the project. Okay, it's end. That's it. The project is closed, right? Nothing to do. Just do nothing. That's what is Tamoguna, right? So therefore, now Rahu is primarily a planet which is composed of Rajoguna and Tamoguna. So during this transit, you might have this desire. So if Venus rules a particular house, which he does definitely rules two houses in your chart as per your ascendant. So you might have this obsessive desire to either be in Rajoguna or be in Tamoguna, which means create, destroy, create, destroy, create, destroy, create, end, create, end, create, end. Right? So it's highly crucial that you be realistic and you understand why at all are you creating something. Right? So if Venus is your 10th Lord, you may be tempted to leave your job and you know start your own business. But then after three months, six months, or maybe... Uh, with somebody, you know, you see somebody and you fall in love and you decide to uh, get into a relationship or maybe you decide to get married, right? As they say, uh, love at first sight, divorce at first fight. <laughs> so then you are going to regret, right? So do not jump like somebody, like a dog or a monkey within... From Rajoguna, Tamoguna, Rajoguna, Tamoguna, Rajoguna, Tamoguna. This is like attachment aversion, attachment aversion, attachment aversion, right? Bhoga tyaga, bhoga tyaga, bhoga tyaga. I want this, I don't want. I want it, I don't know. I want it, I don't know. So do not dance to this tune because whenever a particular planet is transiting in a particular sign, it picks up certain traits from the zodiac sign depending on its own nature, right? So Venus is a Rajasic planet. Rahu is Rajas and Tamas combined. So imagine Rajas multiplied by Rajas plus Tamas. It's like, <laughs> it's like it explodes, right? And that was the sign of Aries also has a lot of Rajas and Tamas, right? It, has, it also has maintenance. So 
it depends on your horoscope uh, what, what is important what is prominent what is crucial for you so therefore you could be tempted within these days to quickly start something and quickly just stop right which can be very detrimental in the long run because the next transit which is the transit of venus in the sign of taurus that requires uh, you to be stable so therefore if you are not clear about the objectives of why you started something then it can be very difficult for you to continue it in the long run later on right even when venus goes to gemini or cancer leo virgo later on so therefore uh, it's crucial that you understand the reasoning and the logic and you have a good goal and a good game plan you understand the milestones and you know which is my final destination right of course you may not know everything but at least you should be aware of what you are doing right and then you will realize that you are able to channelize this tamasic and rajasic energy in a right way right otherwise uh, it can lead to uh, a lot of chaos in your life okay so therefore if you are if you are many, many people have told me you know they 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 are like hyperactive they can't sleep in the night you know they are uh, unable to focus on their work because the mind is like so disturbed the mind is telling you that okay do this do this do this end this end this end this but what are you doing at the end of the day because ultimately your progress in this world is dependent on either material spiritual physical marital whatever it is dependent on the amount amount of effort that you put in it's not dependent on the amount of thoughts that you have right thoughts don't create reality i mean of course it's the base which creates reality but thoughts have to be based by actions right so therefore understand that your mind may tempt you to start something and end something start something without any reason and also end it without any reason right so therefore do not give give into the whims of the mind and do some meditation do some uh, chanting of the mantras do some spiritual practices do some fasting especially try to control your senses and be realistic in your expectations and do not make false assumptions which could lead to accusations later on all right thank you very much for your time and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you and save you from this tamasic and rajasic energy combined